thanks for watching this video now i will try to solve the week one final assessment of intermediate two okay so well first uh, we have to download this file c3w1 assessment and i have already downloaded this so i'm just going to open it okay close and now will it okay fine now here is the question and the attached spreadsheet provides information regarding the company's 60 jobs in three states okay fine nsw qlt and vic okay and have a look uh, at the jobs data worksheet find the cells that contain data validation to answer the first question okay so i'm going to the file and first of all i'm select ctrl a select all and find and select go to a special and what i'm like to find is data validation okay just okay and here it is okay so what they want to know and which column contains data validation okay and there is only one column and j okay so j column so write the column name okay fine j then one of the cells uh, in that column contains invalid data and uh, use the data validation tools to search uh, for any invalid data and cut it okay and which uh, cell contains invalid data write the cell address so go to the file and that column okay so I'm just select this column and go to the data data validation and circle in data okay and here it is on j14 okay i'm just going to change it qld okay so j14 and what cell contains the invalid data it's j14 okay fine find the cell where data validation has been applied unnecessarily and remove the data validation from the cell okay and which cell contains unwanted data validation write the cell address so again control a going to find out go to home sort field uh, find and select find and select go to special and data validation okay just okay and here it is it's unnecessary okay and it's j3 okay fine and content unwanted data validation is j3 okay so we have to remove the data validation from the cell so i'm just going to remove it go to data and click it okay data validation okay just clear all okay just okay fine now it is cleared now apply a drop down list to cell m6 and create a formula in cell o6 uh, to calculate the number of jobs in the selected state okay and find the number of jobs uh, in the state of qld okay so first go to the m6 go to the m6 and we have to add a drop down list here okay fine so for adding this uh, we have to name range it okay so select state control shift down arrow total and copy it down go to sheet and add here a lookup list okay paste it here okay and then i'm going to remove all the duplicates from here okay So I have removed all the duplicates and I'm going to change the name and change it dates from it okay dates okay fine now create from selection top row fine now go to job data again and select m6 and go to data tab data validation data validation allow list and use dates okay and okay fine now 
have a drop down list here okay nice so what value we should found and create a formula in o6 to calculate the number of jobs in the selected state okay fine and find the number of jobs in the state of qr list so first i'm going to apply name range here i'm going to change all the name okay so control a then create from selection top row fine now we have to create a formula in 06 okay so in 06 equal to count fixed function okay state okay and use m6 okay fine here is the answer so find the number of jobs in the state of qld okay so it's fixed in here just copy it and paste it here okay fine so well apply drop down list uh, to cell m10 and uh, either from scratch or by copying the validation from m6 okay fine and create a formula in cell o10 and to calculate the total profit from the job in the state okay and find the total profit uh, from the jobs in the state of qld okay and put uh, in the number only and no separators or currency sign okay so i'm just uh, going to add a data validation here i can copy it copy and paste it here okay paste special only validation okay fine and now i can change it okay now total profit uh we have to add another column here so name profit okay so go to home change the color to white okay so profit and change the cell color format painter okay fine now is equal to Quoted price to the customer minus project cost. Fine. Just fill it, okay? And then I'm going to name it clear all and formulas, create from selection, top row, okay? Then total profit from the jobs in QLD, okay? So I'm going to use here the sum if function okay so sum if k okay. sum range is uh, profit so profit k okay. then criteria range is state k okay. fine and then m ten okay just in the bracket and enter and total profit from the job QLD okay so go to QLD and the answer is this one just copy it and paste it here okay to remove all other sides okay remove this two no further apply drop down list to cell n14 and numbers 1 to 9 okay fine and apply condition for me so first i'm going to the sheet and add a data validation here validation whole number 1 to 9 and okay fine and and condition formatting to the number of people column and find out the number of jobs with more than the number of people in the cell in 14 okay and how many jobs have more than eight people 
so I'm just going to put it here and then go to the number of people column okay so now select all the number of people and then go to conditional formatting and new rules go to you say formula to determine okay fine so i'm just uh, going to put a formula here okay fine and remove absolute sign from px and use greater than and then and put an okay just uh, going to add format font will be bold and fill will be any of the color okay select just okay fine now here it is and uh, what they want to know how many jobs have more than eight people and how many jobs okay so i'm just uh, going to uh, add a filter here well so filter by color okay fine and it's seven here okay Eight. count seven okay just seven and again clear all the filter fine now apply data validation to the job number column to avoid duplicate job numbers is there any duplicated data in this column after applying data validation and I specify the cell addresses separated by a comma okay fine so first uh, go to the job number column there it is and add a data validation for this okay so just select this all and go to data data validation fine so this must be custom okay so i'm just uh, going to put a formula here count if okay count is and bracket job number okay slash and here i'm going to just put the name here okay and b6 okay because uh, it is in the b6 column okay uh, b6 and this must be less than or equal to one okay so just okay fine and then i'm going to select again circle invalid data and here it is okay so I specify the cell addresses separate by comma okay so there are two cell okay is there any other no only two cell okay fine good it's uh, b10 and it's uh, b19 so b10 comma b19 okay. and add data validation to markup percentage column to have any number between 0, uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 and which is the best option for the type of validation criteria okay so markup percentage so i'm just, uh, going to add a markup percentage here just select control shift down arrow and just uh, go to add a data validation data validation and as this is the decimal so i'm going to add a decimal between 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 okay and select this and which is the best option for the type of validation criteria and this is decimal okay now the job start uh, date column should be validated to have the job date after 2015 7 01 and which is the best option for the type of validation criteria apply the validation to this column okay so i'm just uh, going to copy this and go here and go to job start date and select all the data add a validation here okay fine so i'd like to use 
stage function and this will be greater than okay so greater than paste it okay. fine but uh, there you can see it's a uh, month day sorry yeah month date and year okay so i'm just uh, going to like this okay month date and year 7 1 2015 okay 7 1 2015 okay fine just uh, okay and so we have to use date and greater than okay and copy the job start date column data validation to estimated finish date column and which uh, sales content invalid data if you find so go to here and control just uh, select all control shift down arrow and just copy it okay and again select control shift down arrow and going to paste special only validation okay fine here it is i'm going to check if there any invalid data okay circle invalid data and line okay there it is in p60 okay so just go to here and type e 62 fine now submit it wow it's 100 percent okay thank you once again